Hello and welcome back to our channel with a new video. Today we will discuss all you need to know about clean energy and what you need to know about its impact on our lives. So without further ado, let's start with today's video. Clean energy is a word that frequently appears in news stories about climate change and fossil fuels. Most of us know that oil and gas have numerous negative environmental consequences. The drive toward renewable energy is gaining traction among the younger population and even politicians. But do you really understand what renewable energy is? Do you know how it affects how we heat our homes, drive our cars, and safeguard our wildlife, water, and landscapes? Don't worry if this isn't the case. This video defines clean energy in all of its forms and considers how it will impact our lives. Everyone used oil and gas to heat their houses and office buildings in the past. In the 20th century, hardly anyone gave a second thought to the oil furnace in the basement. The oil furnace was filled once or twice a year, depending on the climate where you lived, and then forgotten about. People began to switch to high-efficiency gas furnaces after that. Some others heat their homes with electric baseboard heaters, but at an exorbitant monthly cost. Homeowners preferred gas, so it was put in new homes, and outdated oil furnaces were replaced with gas furnaces in others. Until recently, gas was the heating industry's preferred child. However, significant progress has been achieved, and new knowledge has been gathered about the environmental implications of gas deposits. As a result, Many people seek something different and a means to heat their houses without harming the environment by digging for gas deposits. This is where green energy comes in. Simply put, green energy is a type of energy that is both renewable and natural. Consider solar energy, which is both clean and limitless. Rooftop solar panels are a fantastic illustration of green energy that will one day be widespread worldwide from Asia to Europe to North America, if the political will exists. Clean power, green power, and reusable power, what's the difference? These terms may appear to be interchangeable, but they are not. Energy derived from natural sources, such as sunshine, is called green energy. The term renewable energy refers to the energy that can be recycled. Clean energy refers to the energy that does not pollute the air. People who work in the energy field say that renewable and green energy is the best combination, like wind and solar electricity. Clean energy is also renewable, and unlike fuel that spills into oceans and other bodies of water, remember the Exxon Valdez oil leak in Alaska in 1989, it does not harm the environment. There is oil dumped into Prince William Sound in 11 million gallons. More than 1,000 miles of Alaska's shoreline were poisoned due to the leak, and many marine mammals, birds, and other wildlife were damaged or killed as a result. Clean energy has the potential to prevent such a catastrophe. What are clean energy's other advantages? Apart from averting environmental calamities, here are some of the essential advantages. There are numerous economic advantages. Because Canada, and many other countries, has been reliant on fossil fuels for so long, infrastructure to harness alternative energy sources is required. To generate electricity, for example, hydroelectric dams must be built. That implies more jobs, more employment, more jobs. People who have previously worked in the oil business can be trained for these positions. Air pollution from energy sources is reduced or eliminated. Clean energy, such as solar electricity, means no greenhouse gas emissions into the atmosphere, such as carbon monoxide. They are the primary cause of global warming, so finding a reliable source of energy that does not generate greenhouse gases (GHG) is essential to prevent our world from warming. The term renewable refers to something that can be recycled. We would no longer be relying on finite resources like gas and oil deposits if we switched to wind and solar power. The ability to harness the sun's energy allows for a limitless power supply at a reduced cost. 
One of the most important things we need to do is develop new ways to diversify our power plants. This will make sure that we have enough energy for the foreseeable future. Each source of sustainable energy has its own set of advantages. Wind power. Although we may think of wind power as something brand new and very 21st century, it has been around for ages. A generator is attached to a windmill, which spins and generates electricity. It's a sort of clean energy that environmentalists have promoted all over the world for a long time. Throughout the centuries, many farmers have used wind power to power grain grinders. That is only one use. Experts believe wind power will be employed in a variety of ways in the future. Solar power. The sun's inexhaustible energy is collected and used for various purposes, including heating homes, water tanks, and large structures. Experts predict that the entire settlement will be powered by solar panels in a single spot one day. Consider the little garden solar lamps you may have in your backyard right now. One day, the same principles could be used to heat your entire house, or perhaps your whole town. Clean Energy's Future Did you know that in June 2020, the United Kingdom ran entirely on renewable energy for two months? It did, which is unusual given Britain's reluctance to give up coal as a source of power and its late entry into the green energy movement as a whole. According to an increasing number of governments, green energy must power the future. Unfortunately, many countries are still heavily reliant on oil and gas, and changing course will not be easy or quick. China and India, for example, did not pledge to cease their reliance on oil by a specific date at the recent climate change summit in Glasgow, Scotland, in the fall of 2021, instead, they agreed to reduce it. Other countries, as well as the entire environmental movement, were dissatisfied. Greta Thunberg, for example, was very outspoken in her criticisms of international leaders. She said that the summit didn't do enough to help the world. On the plus side, political leaders worldwide are becoming increasingly aware that their popularity is largely based on their responses to climate change and green energy. It is no longer enough for them to talk about what they will do in the future, citizens are now demanding action. Young people, in particular, are not happy with their parents and government officials promises that the problems will be solved at some point. What are your options for you and your family? People sometimes believe that the climate situation is too large to address, and they question what, if anything, they can do to help beyond simply voting for candidates that support green energy. One meaningful way you can contribute is by supporting politicians who favor the transition to sustainable energy, but other options exist. In summary, there's a lot you can do as a family. Here are some suggestions. Consider purchasing a battery-powered automobile. Why not get an electric vehicle the next time you're in the market for a new car if you need a vehicle to travel to work and bring the kids to and from school and other activities? Many governments incentivize citizens by providing substantial discounts on purchases and even tax credits for electrifying their vehicles. Getting rid of gas-powered cars is essential in the transition to renewable energy. Your oil furnace should be replaced. Even if you can't afford solar panels or the installation isn't feasible due to your home's architecture, you can still contribute by installing a high-efficiency gas furnace. It is less expensive and more environmentally friendly than an oil furnace. Set up a composter and make sure you use it. Are you wondering how this relates to renewable energy? Every time you minimize the quantity of rubbish you leave out for weekly pickup, you're lowering the amount of waste your family dumps in landfills. It's all part of the effort to make the world a better place, and it makes a difference. Plus, when it's time to plant in the spring, you'll have plenty of nutrients. Check out your local government's website, many will give you a free composter and will even explain how to set it up and operate it. In conclusion, the transition to green, clean energy is gaining traction worldwide. 
all countries, including Canada, must commit to replacing their reliance on fossil fuels with clean energy and assisting workers in the fossil fuel business in transitioning to new jobs in green power. Scientists and climatologists estimate that we have until around 2050 to prevent irreversible damage to the Earth, though some believe the worst may occur much sooner. Regardless of who is correct, whether we must convert by 2035 or 2050, the point is that clean energy is better for the world, better for our children and us, and thus better for everyone. Simply said, we must commit to change, do everything we can as people, and encourage our elected officials to follow suit. We can defeat environmental degradation and implement clean, green technologies if we work together. Still, need more information on this topic? Don't worry. We have got you covered. Check out the links in the description box below to learn more about our resources and other helpful materials. Before you go anywhere, make sure to give our video a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel and click on the bell symbol so you don't miss any of our intriguing videos. Stay tuned until next week.